Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. Now, in this video, we will try to see the practical implementation of the NGRXFX, how we can implement the NGRXFX in the login module. We will try to see. We have already have the all the data so required for this login form. So we had the email and we had, we had the password. And what we need to do is the next step, we need to submit it to the backend database or API call. So we need to make the HTTP API call and with the following details and we need to get the response data token data and all those things and we need to store it in the reducer that is nothing but the state how we can do this one so this one we can we can achieve it using the ngrx effects let's try to implement this one before implementing this one what we need to do is let's open new window okay terminal and let's install the npm install ngrx effects okay ngrx effects is a separate module which is present in the ngrx so when we need this one we need to install the ngrx effects so let it install the ngrx effects ngrx effects is successfully installed now what we need to do is we need to register the fx module so how we can re register the fx module just like the store module so here in the store module how we have created we will be having the fx module okay dot for root so this is the for root so in the same scenario how we are having this one also will be having for root and the for feature and here we need to declare it as an empty array it will take the empty array store module take the object list of reducers here it will take the array of effects so right now we did we haven't created any effect so let's keep it as an empty in the same scenario now what we'll try to do is we'll try to create a service that that register that login so the, which will have the login method in that one so i am creating in the services folder auth dot service dot ts i am creating a name auth dot service dot ts and in this auth dot service dot ts let's export class auth service and in this one so add rate injectable so whether it will come or not injectable okay so we got the injectable thing okay let's import that one and here i will provide it okay provided in root so so that it will be injected automatically so we are keeping it is provided in root right so in the app module what we need to do is we need the http client module let's inject the http client module here in the app module and now let's go to the auth service and in the constructor what i will try to do is constructor okay private http and i will register http client okay http client so right now we need the http client here what i will try to do let's go to the environment.ts and here i will add the firebase underscore api underscore key and this key would be something like our api key here we have already saved this one and let's take this api key and provide this api key we are storing it in global place in the constants now here in the uh, auth service what i will try to do i will try to create a method login which will take of email of type string sorry email of type string and password of type string so these are all concepts you already know so that is the reason i am not explaining you so here return this dot http dot post and we will copy the url whatever the url so now the endpoint url will copy this one and we will paste it here and here in this one what we need to do is the api key is nothing but we will getting it from the dollar of environment okay dot sorry this is not the environment so here i can remove this one environment environment dot firebase underscore api underscore key okay i have the firebase api key so now we need to provide the payload so what is the request data it is taking email password and the return secure token so we already know about this one so if you follow my previous courses you will be able to understand this one so now email password oh why is okay okay so now we are have we are mentioning in the template literal okay so now what is this one is happening you can keep the back tick here yeah so now here i will write email comma password okay email and the password i can keep it here and it, another one is the return secure token we need to pass it as true okay so these are the details we are returning the http post so we have the service with us login so when we provide the email and password to this service it will it will return you the some data we will try to see the data 
now we have the service let's try to go to the auth state and here i am creating in the state module auth dot as i already told you fx is nothing but some type one type of service only i have created auth dot fx dot ts so now it is just a service so export class auth fx okay i have created a service auth fx and here i am creating at the rate injectable as it is a service we can use the at the rate injectable here so i am injecting and here you will be having one constructor so step by step i will introduce so now we need to inject private actions dollar okay as it is an observable so i am writing it in actions it should be imported from the ngrx fx actions okay so now this is the constructor now in the in this one you will be having create a one property login dollar as this one is an observable so this sorry it is a create effect so you need to write create effect okay so this returns a method so we need to return this dot okay actions dollar so whatever the action we have Im implemented here this will return all the actions so whenever in action we are we are doing the action so it will come to this effect so here we need to pipe it so we need to filter it so for for which one for which action you need to filter it for the login start so we have already created an action login start we need to filter it for this login login start and here what i can do is i can do the exhaust map okay so merge map or exhaust map i can do it here so in this exhaust map what i will try to do is we will try to get an action so whatever the action that is filtered we will get an action here okay so in this action what i this exhaust map should be imported from the rxjs operators this off type should be imported from the ngrx effects so now in this action now we need to perform the login uh, authentication service so where you will how you will perform private auth service let's, let's inject this one private auth service okay of type auth service okay so let's inject this auth service and in this auth service let's try to return this one now here we need to call the auth service so how we can call this dot auth service we already know this dot auth service dot login so now we need to send email and password as we already know in the auth dot actions dot ts for the login start we are taking the email and the password as the properties so now here we are we are filtering out the login start right so that means we will be having action dot email and action dot password here so now we will try to send action dot you will be already getting the if you observe you will be getting the intelligence also action dot email and the action dot password okay so now we got the action dot email and the action dot password so we need to return this one okay we need to return this one so now when this one is successfully called so what we will try to do we will try to make the pipe of map okay so we need to map and now what we need to do when we got the data so we will be getting the data okay so now what i need to do so we got the data so we are applying the rxjs operator map operator and when we got the data so nothing but the so token data when we are getting the data so now we what we need to do return we need to return the so when we got the success so failure thing we will discuss is afterwards when we got the success we need to call the login success right now we are not taking any data afterwards we'll take it so you need to call the login success what i can do here i can call the login success directly login success of the action directly okay so this is the total effect thing so what is the effect we are how we, how we are creating the effect we are injecting the actions and also we are injecting the auth service and here we are we are calling the actions dollar so why because as it is observable so we are doing the pipe operator and off type means we will, it will filter all the actions whatever the action we want it will filter all the actions and it will go whenever the login start action is only called then only this effect will go into the exhaust map so exhaust map action if you try to see the action so we will get that login start action and we are calling the action dot email action dot password whatever the uh, email we are calling we are calling here in this pipe operator we are returning the login success when we successfully get the data we will re we are calling the login success action in the afterwards what we will try to do is we will try to send the data okay so this is the login success we are calling now what i can do here so if author.fx we are successfully called so let's try to register this auth effects where we need to register this one so in the auth module so here what i can do here so as this auth effect will be used only in the auth feature auth module auth module so we can register it in the auth 
if you are using everywhere means you need to register in the for root thing in the app module so here what i can do sorry not auth module fx module fx module dot for feature okay of it is an array and let's add auth sorry auth register auth fx so i have registered the auth fx successfully now what i need to do so now auth fx is successfully registered so without any problem what i need to do is let's go to the login and here login.ts what i need to do so here we got the email and password on login submit so let's go to the constant email is equal to this dot login form dot value dot email okay we got the email and here what i can do another one is a constant password we got the password uh, this dot login form dot value dot password okay we got the password also so here spelling mistake constant now i need to call the login start so now it has to perform the login start so let's inject the store also here private private store is equal to store of type app state okay so we need to app state and now what i will try to do is this dot store dot dispatch so what is the thing i need to call login start so login start when this login start is called auth effects will be called automatically i need to send the email and the password to this one so that in the auth effects it will be automatically taken so login start when this action is dispatched immediately auth effects what it will do so here it is waiting for the action right it is filtering for the action login start it will it will wait so when login start is uh, action is triggered so email and password we got the email and password it will go and it will call the auth service let's try to see the output so if we see here so we are getting some errors okay so let's go to the login component.ts app states okay so let's try to oh why this is happening so app state let's import this app state okay mm -hmm. let's import this app state yeah we have imported so it has success it should successfully get executed yeah it's it's a, yeah it's got oh why why is this many times it is executing okay it's compiled successfully now let's go to our ngrx counter now we are successfully we hopefully we should get any problem we have written a lot of code now let's go to the console we didn't get any error now in the network let's try to see in the network okay now here i will try to leela at the rate leela.com or something somewhere data, whatever the data i want i will write submit click on login see now it is trying to submit so it is trying to call the auth service so headers if you go to the headers and if you try to see email password return security token so what are the service so now it is successfully calling the uh, what is that one uh, login start auth effects if you go here into the red x you'll be able to see that auth page login shot has been successfully called if you go to the raw so lo login raw data so if you want to see this why why is not displaying states are equal state sorry action yeah this is the action right email and password we are sending now if i try to send correct username and password we need to get the token test at the rate test.com one two three four five six this is the username and password what we have actually yeah it's successfully written 200 and if you try to see the response you are able to get the token everything we are able to get see so now we have successfully implemented our first effect in our ngrx token uh, application so now in the next in the next video what we'll try to do is why what is this one is showing error x gray fx root module we didn't get any errors right in the console we did we, we we didn't get any errors in the console so maybe it could be some problem so we if we rerun this ng survey again it will it will uh, work it not a problem in the auth module so have you missed any yeah nothing is missed so fine so this is how we'll be implementing our first auth effect so in the next video what we'll try to do is we will try to get those all the token and all the data and we will try to save it in the ngrx state in the auth state management we will try to save it okay if you have it so you need to practice this one more so why why because this practice only it will be by using by practicing only you will be able to understand these effects if you listen this time and if you understand this thing when you are when you are want to implement again you will be getting confused with this effects thing it's just a simple thing so just filtering the action doing the exhaust map or merge map or whatever the thing and here call the service and return that action that's all simply four steps it will be having so whatever the data i have explained you in our ppt so if you follow those steps that's all that's it nothing will be there
or otherwise if you want to know more about this code if you have problems or anything so you can always go to my github account so whatever the courses uh, thing i am explaining it's all will be present in this github leela narsimha you will be able to go here and you will be able to have the code so now here you will be have you will be able to have this one ngrx counter this is the project what we have created from first onwards in this project you will be have you will be able to have all the data okay so you will be you you will be able to go to the particular branch video whichever video you want so now this one is an as this one is our 26th video so ngrx this is the 26th video right in the video hyphen 26 you will be able to see the ngrx effects this auth effect thing or otherwise you can go to the master and you can get always the latest code okay so the uh, github link repository link will be provided in the under the description of every video you can go to the description and you can uh, you can take that course source code okay you can have if you if you got any problems or anything you can you can uh, you can refer this uh, project and you can you can find the solution okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you